Welcome into a Monday episode of the Free Three. It is your host, Noble Living, where I'm going to break down a few best bets for you guys on this MLB slate. Let's get into it. What's up, my friends? It's your boy, Noble Living, back with another DYF Bets video where I'm breaking down my favorite picks and plays of the day as you just try to get to the bag together and we're just trying to get to that money. Over the weekend, we had a pretty good weekend and we had a two-in-one day on Friday. And then on Saturday, I gave you guys a parlay, a four-leg parlay. It missed, but I did tell you inside the Discord group that I would take all those bets on the run line and the money line and three of the four bets would have covered the money line and the run line so that's why you got to be a part of the disco group yes i'm sorry that the parlay from 100 to 600 did not hit we fell one game short shout out to the orioles for blowing that but otherwise we still had a really good weekend so record wise two and one on friday twins team total over four and a half cash orioles first half first five team total over two and a half cash so team totals off to a good start we might have to run that back i don't know we gotta see right and then also we lost on gunner henderson and bobby witt to get a hit bobby witt didn't get a hit even though gunner henderson did i also told you guys to sprinkle a little bit on gunner henderson getting a home run and he did hit a home run so i i've been giving you guys some winners okay the month of june hasn't been the best you you can see our year today record right now we need a legendary week to end off the week here to be over to five of, to finish over 500 but overall some of the analysis i've been giving you guys if you've been listening i've been giving you guys some winners and some of the things i've been saying so make sure you guys are not just looking only at the play but coming up with your own picks and plays that you like based off the analysis that i'm giving you or maybe the insight or something that I open up your eyes towards that could help you guys cash on some of these winners right my friends now let's dive into these best picks and plays for today three basic small picks we have on the card i don't know what's going on in the WNBA. why they have like a week off there's no games literally for like the next three four days and it's not like it's all-star break either so I, I don't know what's going on there so we're gonna have baseball for the next few days it is game seven of the stanley cup so i'm sure you guys are gonna be watching that to see if the oilers can pull off the epic comeback i mean crazy down 3-0 so it's just a lot of great things that are going on in the sports world even though that it is a little bit more of a slower season and when we do have slower seasons like this right my friends this is your time to really get your bankroll in order really start working on your next sport that's coming up getting together your game plan and if you need a little bit of help kind of putting this stuff together make sure you guys watch some of the educational videos that i drop on the channel on sundays even though i don't give out plays really on sunday on the channel i do drop an educational video and yesterday i dropped one so if you are a beginning sports better or you know somebody who is a beginning sports better make sure you send the video yesterday that i dropped on fouls basically the five things that you need to know when you're first getting started sports betting and that will help, especially when you have friends where they like just can't keep up or they're not understanding the terminology. This will really help them out. All right, my friends, make sure you smash that subscribe button so that way you can stay up to date on all these latest videos that we're dropping. And let's dive into these baseball winners real quickly today. Great value on all these picks as well. My first best bet of the day, let us head to the Rays and the Mariners matchup. Two pitchers on the mound that I actually like pretty well. Brian Wu is on the mound for the Mariners. Taj Bradley is on the mound for the Rays. Now, we actually took Brian Wu in his last start. We had taken the Mariners at plus value on the money line there, and they ended up losing that game outright to the Guardians 8-0. But in six starts this year, that was the first loss for Brian Wu. So now he's 6-1. and one. Well, the Mariners record is 6-1 and one in his starts. He's 3-1 and one overall with a 1.67 ERA. That's why I really like like him in this spot for a bounce back performance against the Rays and I'm going to isolate this game to the first five and I think that we're going to get a low scoring affair to get to start so I'm going to go first five under four runs minus 105 odds now if you're a fan of the channel or if you know how I like to bet I'm paying for the juice because I wanted that little extra half run insurance so this way we don't get that push but I do like the first five under four now Taj Bradley who's on the mound for the Rays can give you kind of up and down performances he's a 4.06 ERA and he's coming off a start against the twins where he went seven innings he gave up one home run but he was still good for two earned runs so that's not too bad over six innings worth of ball so we would have gone under this number here and his start before that against the cubs seven innings three hits two runs but none of them were earned to go with 11 strikeouts you love to see that so the form that bradley's been in has been really strong that's what i like to back but when you also take a look at his home and road splits and the rays are at home today he has a two 
2.1 ERA at home in comparison to an 8.16 ERA on the road. So such a huge disparity there. And the fact that the Rays are at home today, I like the fact that Taj Bradley will be able to good, have a good performance there at Chopper County Field. And then also keep in mind that offensively, both of these teams are bottom five in the majors against right-handed pitching over the last 30 days. So for me, I'm not expecting a whole lot of offense from either one of these teams. Yes, they have power like Yandy Diaz, who can knock one out, or Julio Rodriguez. But overall, both of these teams are kind of offenses that get it going a little bit late. They also play like that small ball, let me steal a base, let me bunt, let me get a single, get somebody driving a run. So I'm not expecting a whole lot of runs or an explosion like that today. So Rays, Seattle Mariners, first five under four runs is our first pick of the day. For my second best bet of the day, we're sticking with that strong pitching narrative. And I see another good pitching matchup that's grabbed my attention and that's in this Boston Red Sox and Toronto Blue Jays game now the Boston Red Sox are sending Tanner Hawk to the mound now the Blue Jays they right now they have Chris Bassett listed but I don't know if he's gonna play because for some reason his numbers are not showing up on the sports books that's why maybe some of the Jays numbers have not completely populated or at least at this time of recording they haven't given us all the Jays lines or at least the pitching props and things of that nature but Tanner Hawk is still enough for me to really like the Red Sox here in this matchup today. He's been absolutely stellar for the Red Sox, 7-5 on the year with a 2.14 ERA. That's second best in the American League for the qualified innings to go with 94 strikeouts and a .97 whip. That's what you really love to see. Tanner Hawk is somebody who throws that knuckleball. It's very hard to hit. He has great command and he's got great control. He's not going to give you a whole lot of extra free base runners and a whole bunch of walks, but he's also somebody that if he can limit the home run ball, he can be very effective, but the key is limiting the home run ball. In his last start against the Jays, actually against the same exact matchup, it was against the Jays. Chris Bassett was on the mound for the Jays. The Red Sox actually won that game 4-3, to three, and Tanner went 5-2 and two thirds, inning 6 hits, three earned runs given up. So that's not too bad. And his last start before that against the Phillies, another six inning performance to go with another three earned runs given up. So he's going to give up a few runs here and there, but I like his pitching more than I like Chris Bassett's pitching. And that is why for me, I'm going to go with two picks in this game. I'm first going to go with the Nerfy. That's only if Chris Bassett starts, but then I'm also going with the Red Sox on the first five run line here. And that gets you about minus 105 odds. Again, really good value we're getting on this card today. We're not trying to lay a whole lot of juice. Now, first for the Nerfy, like I said, if Chris Bassett goes, we're going to take that Nerfy. Chris Bassett on the year, 13-2 and two to the Nerfy. Tanner Hawk, also 13-2 and two to the Nerfy. Chris Bassett's hit his last nine straight. Meanwhile, Tanner Hawk has hit his last three straight. We also know what the Red Sox can do offensively in terms of scoring runs in the first inning, so that is a little bit of a point of concern, but Toronto Blue Jays, worst offensive scoring team in the first inning all year, so because of that, I like the Nerfy, but that's also why I lean towards the Red Sox first five run line because of how weak this Toronto Blue Jays offense is. Bottom in the league right now in runs per game and in first five runs per game. They're not hitting right-handed pitching very well. Bottom 10 inside the league, not only in batting average, but also isolated power over the last 30 days. Meanwhile, the Red Sox are top five in the majors and batting average and power against right-handed pitching over the last 30 days. Now, Chris Bassett is a right-handed pitcher, and this game is at home for the Red Sox at Fenway Park, which is a very hitter-friendly ballpark. And because of that, I like Tanner Hawk today. I like the Red Sox today. I'm going to isolate it to the first five on the run line, minus 105 odds, also take the Nerfy. But again, this is contingent on Chris Bassett playing, at least the Nerfy is. But I do think the Red Sox are going to win the first five, regardless of who goes to the mound for the Blue Jays. Just I just don't think their offense can keep up. I really see this being like a 3-1 game game, 2-1 game around the first five. So I like that and the Red Sox here as our second and third picks of the day. Now for my last and final best bet of the day, let's go with our hitter parlay of the day. And we're going to go with two guys who've been absolutely stellar, hit, stellar hitting the ball lately. That means we're going with my boy Jergerson Profar and then Lane Thomas both to get one hit, minus 105. The beautiful thing about this parlay is they're both playing each other. So this is a same game parlay. So we don't have to flip between the channels. We get to see who cashes in one game. Now Lane Thomas is bad 667 in his career off of Matt Waldron, including one home run. Only three plate appearances, but two out of three times you're getting a hit. I love to see that. You guys know I'm a fan when the hitter has familiarity with the pitcher. But Lane Thomas has also been in great form, batting over 300 over the last 30 days. One 
plus hit in 19 of the last 24 games and then also the power is there as well four home runs in the last nine games so maybe you want to sprinkle a little bit on the home run lay there now also jerkins and profar is another guy who's been very solid this year and it also helps that the wood nationals are sending patrick corbin to the mound patrick corbin's a guy who cannot cannot miss any batters he sucks at really getting strikeouts he gives up a ton of contact over 10 hits per nine innings and profar is a guy who's taking advantage of that in 10 plate appearances against patrick corbin he's batting close to 430 so he's had his number more times than not and he's just been strong against left-handed pitching this year batting over 350 against left-handed pitcher and over the last four games he's had at least two or more t- total bases in each of the last four games so both of these guys have been in really good form i do think this is going to be a little bit more of a high scoring game between both both of these pitchers, Matt Waldron and Patrick Corbin, both more pitch to contact type of guys. Both of these offenses could turn up at any time. You maybe want to sprinkle CJ Abrams in there as well. There's another guy who's been on fire for the Nationals. But Junkerson profile, Lane Thomas, one plus hit, minus 105 odds for our final pick of the day. Well, that's it for me today, my friends. Three, actually four best bets, four winners that I gave you guys on this Monday card to get us started off on this beautiful week. Give me the Mariners and the Rays, first five under four. Give me the Red Sox, first five on the run line, but also give me the Nerfie in that game. And then we'll also wrap it up with Profar to get a hit, Lane Thomas to get a hit in that same game parlay in the Padres and Nationals game. For more picks and plays I'm going to be looking at throughout the day, click the link in the description, join the free Discord group, and I've got you guys. All right, my friends? Let's get to that cheddar. I'll see you on tomorrow's video. Let's get to that bag and let's see what happens in game seven of the Stanley Cup Finals. Should be a great one. Actually, I'm kind of rooting for the Oilers, but I don't watch it enough. But it would be kind of sucky to see the Panthers kind of blow that too. So we'll see. I'm just going to watch it as a fan. And if you guys have a bet in that game, I'd love to tell you. So drop it below so that way I can tell you. All right, my friends? I'll see you on tomorrow's video. Later, guys.